welcome back to my channel. I'm doing another pair box opening video today. I actually haven't sat here for a while because um, it's been about a month since I rearranged my room. So my bed is shifted to the left hand side of the room. So actually um, my background wallpaper is now in the center of the room. Um, and I have a few things I just want to go through with you guys before we start the video. So um, as you know, I opened an Etsy store. So I have some really cool things in my shop. I've got these like really cool vintage um, bundles. So usually they would come with like old paper. So uh, maybe some writing paper, maybe some, I mean, music sheet paper, maybe some book paper. This kind of paper is from my grandma's house. And then I also have like, um, craft envelopes, old maybe stickers or envelopes and also a few little bits and pieces that I think would be really nice in a vintage snail mail package. So I've got um, six of those because I'm going to take one out for me in order to craft with. So there'll be six left um, when you're seeing this video or there might be less if it sells out before then. Um, my packages, my mystery packages sold out in less than um, 24 hours so less than a day they sold out so I was so excited I, I just want to say thank you to all the people who did purchase one um, yeah I, I'm really appreciative of it and yeah I can't wait for you guys to check out the um, vintage paper packs because I love them so much they're so cute and based on the analytic report they're the most popular item in my shop so I'm expecting this to sell out soon. So if you did want to buy your um, vintage paper pack, I still have six left. So you can go purchase that if you want. Um, I also have got a lot of people purchasing my vintage slash global sticker packs. I mean stamp packs, sorry. So these are postage stamps. Um, a few people have bought these so far and I've had really good responses. I have um, quite a few of these so I don't think those are going to sell out as quickly. Um, but they're really cool and I'm going to be doing lots of crafting with these. This is my personal pack so I'm going to show you what I do with them if you want some inspirational ideas. And the last thing that I'm so super excited about is my Japan pack. So this is just one of them. Again, I'm probably going to take one out of the store just so I can craft with them and show you guys what to do with them. Um, because I want to show you how creative you can get with old like um, Japanese vintage crafts. So I'm really keen to do that. So in the next few videos, I'm going to make a vintage um, snail mail themed letter. I'm also going to make it a vintage Japanese themed letter. And the last one is I'm going to make a flow themed letter. So I got this from the local post office. Um, beautiful prints throughout. Can't wait to start using it and it's such a beautiful day today. I was just at the cafe with a good friend of mine and it was just blue skies, the sun was coming down, I like insert an image here of what I filmed earlier. Um, yeah and it was just so beautiful so I'm going to spend the afternoon down at the beach just reading the book and enjoying the blue size and the sunshine. So yeah, that will be my afternoon. And then I'll create um, a beautiful snail map package. And I love the um, slogan, it's celebrating creativity, imperfection, and life's little ple pleasures. <laughs> Quite nice. Um, lastly, sorry, there's a few things I just wanted to run through. So I also do little custom orders. So if you guys have seen anything on my channel that you would like, um, or if you know the specific items in Australia you like, or if you think that I could put something together that's quite custom for you, you can let me know. I do accept custom orders on Etsy. All you have to do is be very specific on what you want and also give me a budget range. So when you email me or request a custom order, just give me sort of a budget range that you have. So it might be between five or $10 or maybe 10 to $20 or maybe 20 to $30 if it's gonna be a larger package. And then I can quote that up for you and give you shipping prices. So something like a little bundle set would be something like this um, with little postcards. This has little cat memos some um, stamps and just some bits and pieces. So you can request something quite small. This is actually something I was going to send off um, in the mail, so to one of my pen pals. But I thought I could just put something like this together for you if you're interested or if you missed out on the mystery packages. So yeah, you can just email me on Etsy at any time and just let me know that you want a custom order. All right, lastly, before we get into the snail mail packages, I got sent a few things in the mail. So this is um, part of the mailbox opening. So I got sent um, four, four pens. 
um, from, I can't remember the name of the company, but I'll have the website on screen now. <laughs> and I'll also have the links in the description box below. I can't remember. Really remember, I can't believe I don't remember, but it'll probably be the title as well. So be the title will be on screen now. Um, I just don't want to get up and run and get it because I'm in the middle of filming. So yeah, they sent me two beautiful, I mean four, two of each colour of these fine liner pens. So the Java gel pens, um, black and blue, and I've actually been using these non-stop since they gave them to me. And if I just write hello, it's just so beautiful. Like it's the gel pens just flow really nicely, um, and I love fine liners, so they're really nice to write with. And the other ones are these Powerline 2500, I don't know what that actually means, but it's the uh, mild fluorescent colours. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> so beautiful colours, like I love the colour range. They look quite pastel on the paper. So yeah, that's my review for today. <laughs> um, so let's jump into the PO Box opening and I'll show you all the mail that I got. <laughs> so these are all the letters I got in the mail for this month and last month. As I mentioned, um, I have stopped kind of accepting new pen pals. I've taken my PO Box address off most places. For now, like I'm still getting quite a few letters. A lot of these replies, some of these are new, which is still great, um, but I just need to remind people that it will take me a long time to reply. So yeah, these are all the ones I got in the mail today. I actually um, already opened this one up because I wanted to see what was inside and then it had the most beautiful wrapping. So I didn't want to ruin it because I wanted to show you. So look how beautiful this is. And this is from um, White Coffee and Sugar. So this is actually from the person who I sent the giveaway to. So they said that they loved the giveaway and it's so wonderful. I just thought I'd show you how beautiful the wrapping is. And I really love this be beautiful big um, stamp here. I thought it was so pretty. So yeah, it was so odd because the day I sent the giveaway to Italy, I actually received this really cool package. So I haven't opened it yet. I'm gonna have to do a close-up. This is really, really pretty. Okay. Oh, before I start ripping at it, let me show you a close-up. So this is what I saw when I first opened the package. Look how adorable this little package is. Isn't that the cutest? Um, and then we've got these envelopes and they're also all beautifully packaged. I love them so much. And then we've also got this really cool flip book. I love these stamps. Aren't these just the most prettiest stamps in the world? Oh, look how pretty this is. Oh, what's this? Goji, like those goji berries. This is like a little notebook. Oh, that's so pretty. So we've got goji. We've got, oh, this little hello there. Okay. All right, let me open it properly. And there's another beautiful um, stamp on the back here. I really love these, they're so beautiful. Thank you. And then next is this, the adorable little package. I can't wait to see what's inside. I don't want to wreck it because it's so cute. I want to just keep it on my desk. It kind of reminds me of the little package out of Totoro. Do you know how they wrap up the little um, nuts? Oh, it's a little washi. Oh, this is so cool. All right, so what's next? So I'm gonna do this one next. So this one's from Lisa, and she's from Germany. And she's drawn a Totoro on the front, and this is the same Totoro that I drew in one of my um, older videos. So I'm so keen to open this one. And I'm pretty sure that says my name are Totoro. Oh, there's feathers in here. I'll keep those in there. All righty, so what's this? Oh, what's this, what's this? So I think we have some pretty envelopes. We've got a green one, a white one. These are just empty, I think, yeah. So a green one, a white one, a beautiful marble looking one. And then this one kind of looks like a flip book. Oh, it is. Oh, and another Totoro. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. So we've got the letter, 
We've got a beautiful postcard. How beautiful is that? Little flamingo. Oh, lots of postcards. Um, be like a pineapple. Wear a crown and be sweet on the inside. That's so nice. Buy things and then give them away to my pen pals. I'm like, I actually really wanted to keep that. <gasps> these are so beautiful. You'll have to tell me where you got these. I don't know if you went to Japan, Lisa, but if these are just Germany. Are these stickers? I think so. Actually, are they stickers? Actually, I think you've cut out, I think you've printed a um, a photograph and then cut them out. Let me know if that's what you've done because I don't think these are stickers. They look like um, photos. Like you've just printed a photo and then you've cut them out. That's really clever if you've done that. I'm going to open this one next. So this is Jemima um, from Australia. And um, yeah, I think this is a reply letter. I remember... I, I remember writing to her, I'm pretty sure. I think multiple times. This, this may be a second reply letter. I've definitely written one letter. That's for sure. Ah, so cute! Look at this little tag. Alright, we also have... Oh, look at this! It's a like, cute just little mini flip book. Um, and it's Roald Dahl stuff. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember replying to you. And then we've got something that looks like it's out of the Flow magazine. We've also got Adventure Awaits. And then we've got a little letter and some cute little writing paper with adorable caterpillars. So thank you. This is from New South Wales. Terry Ann. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's a little hyphenated name. A two-part namer. And... Everything's so pink, pink and pretty. And there's a beautiful fairy on the front of this envelope, which I really like. It's very cute. Everything's just very cute. Oh, and I think she's written down her Instagram, so I'll check that out later. Oh, how cute is this? I don't know if that's meant to be. So we've got a big butterfly, big purple butterfly. Is it a double butterfly? It looks like there's two in here. Oh, <laughs> a double butterfly. <laughs> Alright, and then we've got beautiful purple washi tape. Purple and pink seems to be the theme in this letter. So this is from Helen Potter and I like her last name because we have a Harry Potter Slytherin stamp on the back and I thought that was very cool. Um, and she's from the United States. So I think this might just be a little letter inside. Yes, it is. It's very beautifully wrapped though. I love the little envelope. Oh, this is so lovely. Oh, these washi tapes are so unique. Letters. So this one, I think, is again another just straightforward letter, which I quite like these days because there's less pressure on me to make a big package reply. I think it's a postcard. Oh, it's a little card. And this is from Rebecca from the UK. She just basically says, thank you so much for um, the reply. She loved the washi samples. Um, and she can't wait to see my new YouTube videos. Oh, that's, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. But the next one actually caught my eye. So look how colourful this envelope is. This is from... Oh, I put a little bit of washi tape over the name because I think I took a photo of this before. Um, but this is from... And there's also a sticker. I can't actually read the name. What is this in here? Oh, it's just a little letter. I'm just going to see if there's any drawings or anything inside. Oh, it's very cute. We've got things I like. Alright, I'll have to read that one later. Thanks for the beautiful letter. Alright, what is next? Alrighty. This one here is from Russia. And I cannot pronounce your name. So I'm not going to try. Because I don't want to offend anyone. 
And I think it's another little letter. Oh, look how cute this little guy is. He's so cute. Oh, it's just like a really sweet little split book. I love little sweet things. These are adorable. I love these stamps. People are going to start to have to tell me where they get their adorable stamps from. I love finding new stationery. So the next one has really cool um, stamps on the front. I really like the collage of different stamps. Um, this one's from Connor from the United States. I don't know if it's Connor a boy or Connor a girl because I'm pretty sure Connor can be both a boy and a girl's name. I really like this craft envelope. I'm going to have to do something similar to that soon. Oh, what is this? Is this a handmade bookmark? <gasps> I love that. Look at this sewn bookmark. Oh, I can't wait to use this. Thank you so much. That is such a cool idea. Um, we've also got this little otter. And on the back, it has a little... Oh, is this a YouTuber? This is like a YouTuber's card, I'm pretty sure. I think I, I follow her. Um, a little postcard. Very, very cute. But... And then we think I've got a little letter. Yes. Thank you so much. I love this one so much. And I think the envelope is probably one of my favorite designs today. Um... I was halfway through opening up one of my little letters and I didn't realize that the camera had switched off so I was just like rambling on like blah 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 and then I looked up and then I saw that the camera screen was black. I was like oh no. So I just opened a letter from um, Canada so it was a beautiful cacti theme envelope and then I started opening up these beautiful um, envelopes so we had a really beautiful card here. Um, with butterflies on the front. It also says goodies inside this little one here, but I was in the middle of opening up this little flip book. So there's some beautiful teas, washi tape that had um, Ghibli themed in the middle. And then I was opening, opening it up more and then we've got a um, little mail tag and then the letter here is like a little flip in the middle. So I thought that was pretty cute. We've got a photo of the lovely lady who sent me this letter but I didn't want to show her face on camera because so some people like the privacy. And then there's a beautiful Roll Dahl quote on the back. So yeah, I thought that was so lovely. Um, and then I'll quickly open up these little goodies and then we'll get on to the last two. Ooh. Okay, what is this? Are these band-aids? Oh my goodness. I think they're themed, like they're, um, they're cute, like they've got cartoon patterns or something on them. I can't quite see, but they look like really cute band-aids. We've got little Hello Kitty stickers. Oh, from the 1970s. I love that so much. Thank you. Oh, and then we've got Hello Kitty from the 2000s. This is so cool. And then the 1990s. So it's got like a little history of Hello Kitty. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much. I love little, um, like, his, like seeing the history of it. So I love when things have dates. All right, I'll pop that one away. All right, so I've got two more left. So I'm not going to try to pronounce the name of this one. But this one's from Atlanta, Georgia. GA is Georgia, I'm pretty sure. Hey there, from the United States. It's quite like a little bulky package. I want to know, do you guys decide what size envelope you're designing in first? Or do you make your design and then find the envelope? Let me know in the comments. Oh, I see cacti. Something cacti in here. Ooh. Oh, so cute. Oh my goodness. All right. So we have the little letter here, and then we have, oh look at this, it's like a little sort of flip book, but it's like a one pager, spirited away, um, tea, washi tape samples, and this beautiful sticker. Oh, how cute. And then look at this little cacti notebook. I thought it was very chunky. Isn't that the cutest? Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to find somewhere really cute to put this. Thank you. Alrighty, last one left and it's one of the biggest ones and this packaging is so adorable. I love everything about it. Um, even the little Canadian stamps are so cute. I'm going to have to do a little close up on this. 
before I start opening it. How pretty is this flip book? And then the letter has this beautiful pressed flower. So I'll pop that one aside and I might do this one up close because I think it's going to be very beautiful. How cool is this? Oh my goodness, there's so many things that flip. Oh, I love these so much. Did you make these? Where did you get that? Alright, let me show a close up on the bed because it's kind of hard to show you up here. So it flips that way once, so let's see what's in this pocket. Postcard. Be positive. Oh, these are so cute. In a world where you can be anything, be yourself. Clear your eyes, clear your heart, let it go. You make the world a better place just by being in it. I think I'll just be happy today. Oh, I love these. Thank you. And then what was this? I think this is just pretty writing paper. Yes. I love how positive this is. <laughs> Alrighty. This is cute. Pretty sure this is from Daiso. So it flips up and it says mail tag. Let's see what's in here. Oh, how cute! Oh, how cute are these little pandas! Lots of different colours. Oh, I love those. I think this is adorable. Can you see that? Let me do a little close up. How cute is this little panda? I don't want to erase him, he's too cute. I don't, I think it's just a bookmark. So I think maybe you've pressed them and then you've put contact on both sides. Let me know. Very, very cute. Loving these homemade bookmarks. Alrighty, what's in the next pocket? Oh my goodness, no! Did I miss anything? <gasps> what is this? I love this so much! You're gonna have to tell me how you made this. <gasps> Look at that! Okay, let's put that aside. It kind of looks like she's made these, or even at least these tags. Thank you so much for all of this. There's just so much you've included. I love it all. I will see you guys next week. Bye.